I mean, I've been with Haven uh, be six years in April. Um, and when I joined, I was employee number 12, and we had no sales at all. So as you can see, we've grown very, very fast in a very short space of time. Okay, Drax. Drax purchased uh, Haven Power in 2009. We were originally part of Welsh Power. Um, Drax bought us in 2009 for around about 11 million. Um, Drax are the largest, cleanest coal power station in the UK, uh, producing between 7 and 10% of the UK's power. So um, that's two major cities in Yorkshire, so it's a, it's a huge amount. Uh, they have over 2 billion turnover and they mainly sell to the wholesale market. Um, as a business, as I say, they bought Haven uh, for us to be their retail arm, to basically hedge their risk. Um, we try to offer very straightforward contracts. I mean, electricity business can be quite complicated. People get rolled into contracts they don't want to be in, they don't understand the rates they're on. So we try to offer very straightforward contracts, 12, 24, 36 months. Um, there's a lot of uh, different issues out in the marketplace at the moment um, where clients are having extra costs passed on to them with th called third party costs. So is, there fi is it, a, is it a, uh, a contract that is fully fixed? Can they have pass through? So we've developed a number of products which are fully fixed or threshold uh, to our clients. We also have a very easy renewable renewals process as well because as I said, we have a huge amount of businesses that are rolled into contracts against their will on rates that are not particularly uh, competitive. Uh, as a business, we also provide AMR or smart metering. Um, these are meters that are read automatically, so you have no meter reader coming into your, into your business. So all your estimated bills um, are taken away. So every bill that you get will have an actual read on it. And we provide a number of different options on AMRs um, where you can also go onto a website and look at the actual data as well uh, to get the reads. Um, big advantages of having AMR meters, I say no, no estimated bills, you pay for what you actually use. So you've got no nasty surprises at the end of a year or a contract. Um, a large amount of... Um, of biomasses all comes from agricultural byproducts. This would be things like uh, straw, olive pulp, uh, nut shells. A lot from the beauty industry, coconut shells, that type of uh, that type of product. And then the last but not least is energy crops. This is a product where it's actually grown by the farmer. Um, there's a big project going on at the moment at Drax, and over the next nine months, to start getting farmers to actually start growing products on their land, um, such as uh, fast-growing willow, uh, different types of grasses and straw. Uh, about 80% at the moment, 80 to 90% of the biomass actually comes from America and Canada. So there's a big drive to actually have more sustainable biomass produced in the UK. Okay, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, I will be around for a while, so more than happily ask Ask, uh, ask the questions. Thank you very much.